Hello and welcome back to another ATU Dynasty episode. This is episode 21 and we have a double header for you guys. The first game, number 22 USC. They are 3 and 3 overall and 3 and 1 in conference. Our next game in this episode will be against Arizona State and Arizona State they are struggling so far this season as far as back 10 play goes but overall they are sitting at 5 and 3 so we're taking on USC led by halfback Lendell White he is the main guy now in the backfield after Reggie Bush has gone to the NFL Matt Liner is no longer there as they have John David Booty and his backup is Mark Sanchez so John David Booty is going to kick things off on the center takes a shot deep and don't you know they came up with the play and then they give it to the fake Mike Allstar I got that rumbling bumbling and knocking heads off as he gets into the end zone right up that got but Gilmore and the ATU offense they come on the field this hot sizzling on fire get a fine Coley big first down right there in USC territory and that pass goes right through the hands of Coley into the hands of Murphy one problem Murphy plays for the USC Trojans. So Booty dropping back the pass and that pass was straight Booty as he throws that one straight to Coconut. I believe what that's three or four straight games for a pick for that young man. Now anyways the ATU offense couldn't get nothing going and we're going to have to set up for a field goal. So kick is up, kick is good. USC and John David Booty, they take right back over, kicking things off around midfield to give the ball to Lindell White and Lindell White does work as he gets this one deeper in the ATU territory. Now it's third and 14, a chance for ATU to get off the field. You know what we did? We gave him a big time catch to Dwayne Jarrett. Now Lindell White, up that guy, takes it to the crib. Touchdown, University of Spoiled Children. And now it is 14 to 3. Gilmore getting dropped back in the final. Vincent makes a couple of USC defenders miss and picks up a much needed first down. Now we're in USC territory. Gilmore gonna roll out. Gilmore gonna find Coley inside the 10. Gets dropped inside the 5 at about the 3 yard line. So we put Coley in the back for that quarterback. He's gonna do his thing. We through traffic and get into the end zone. So now it's a much closer ball game, but there goes Lindell White weaving his way through traffic with a big stiff form and a big first down. Booty standing there and Booty taking a shot deep, but get that thing about it as we deny them a touchdown. So we take over after a great pump pins us inside our own five yard line. Second and 13, looking for Coley. That would have been a tough catch or bounced off of his hands incomplete. Gilmore gonna go to the outside, find Vincent, but we go three and out so John David Booty taking a shot deep and what do you know they connect the dots because our defense is booty and right there we had a chance for a yahoo Zay Herb, but we are unable to get our hands on the football. So USC, they are now up 21 to 10. Gilmore's gonna throw a pick, and that is not good, obviously. And that's gonna set up USC with some excellent field position. Unfortunately for them, our defense stood tall because our defense has the pride of a timber wolf. That's right. We roll in one pack, and this pack right here has a leader that throws to the other team. You know, like we're playing fetch with a straight dog. Anyways, man, Booty gonna do a play fake. Throw this one to the fake Mike Allstar and Jones has some speed. He might be faster than everybody on the ATU roster. But you know it, it's second to 13. We're only down by 21. Plenty of time here in the second half. We take a shot deep and that's gonna be caught. Not by Vincent, but by a member of the USC secondary, making that our fourth turnover of the ball game. And then Lindell White is showing why he should have been in the NFL and not beating up on these freaking kids right here at ATU, making it 38 to 10. We're down by 28, but we're gonna find Coley still showing some heart out there. You know, Coley's gonna do some things. But now it's fourth and five, rolling out is Gilmore looking for somebody to get open, and that pass hits the grass because we're playing like straight trash. Mark Sanchez is now in the game. He hands the ball off to James and he's going to take that one to the end zone. Touchdown USC and that is going to bring this one to an end. We check out the stats and Gilmore through four interceptions. That is not a recipe for success. My man Brooks, he has 16 carries for 59 yards, averaging less than four yards a carry. Again, 
Not good. Coley, 11 receptions. Very good for 176 yards. Hopefully he doesn't transfer and leave us to play for a contending team next year. But let's move on to Arizona State. They are 5-3 overall, 2-3 in conference. Nationally, they are ranked 41. We are nationally ranked 1 Hey, they have a bunch of people who are out due to injury and one guy who is out due to suspension. So, we have the odds on our favor because we have our full roster. One problem is that our full roster is pretty trash. Right there we find Davis. Gilmore dropping by the pass. We're going to find Coley. So, we got this thing rocking and rolling down the sideline, down the middle of the field. Any way we want to go, we are connecting the dots. Johnson right there. Big time catch. Now it's second and four. Gilmore dropping back the pass against Tip. And and then caught by Washington, and once again, Gilmore has thrown one more interception to the opposing team. So Arizona State, they take over, going to find Stone, and Stone is a cold bone killer. Cold bone killer, yeah, he has cold bones in his body. Anyways, though, they throw a pick. My man Mitchell gets this thing at about the one-yard line, but good for us that we stop a scoring drive. So Gilmore's going to roll out on third down, and he's going to come up clutch on third down. Move those chains for the Temple Wolves. Going over the middle, we're going to find Cauley, and Cauley makes a big top catch, and now we have something going. We give the ball to Brooks. Nice spin move right there, but then he coughs it up. And ATU once more turns the ball over in the first quarter of play. Our defense stands tall. For the first time in a long time, our defense has played pretty freaking well in these first quarter of plays in both video. But now Gilmore dropping back the pass, and that's going to be a little bit too far in front of Davis. So now it's third and nine from the 21. Gilmore once again with time. Throws it up top to Coley, and Coley I trust. And when it comes to the white and blue team on the field right now, Coley is the only guy I trust. Now, Gilmore, look at this pass right here. That was beautiful. And you know my man Coley going to come down with it, man. Look at that 74-yard receiver already. So let's go, man. Gilmore going to drop back to a pass on third down. We try to run the wide receiver screen, but Vincent forgot his hands in the hotel room. Now, Gilmore looking for Davis. That pass gets knocked down on fourth down, and we have to give the ball right back now to Arizona State. The Sun Devils have it set up on third down and this pass is tipped and then caught for a touchdown for Arizona State. Ward had a perfect opportunity to at least catch it and at the very least knock it down but instead he tips it right back to Stone. It was like an alley-oop. Too bad this ain't basketball. Anyways, man, we're going to find Coley because Coley doing work. Coley is the man. Coley, he might win the Belinda Cup Award for being the best receiver in the country. Too bad, though, we can't win a freaking ball game because of turnovers. But football is the ultimate team game, so hopefully our defense can make a play for our offense and our defense makes a play for the Arizona State offense. Touchdown, Carter. Win 21 like he called it, but we all know Coley is the man in the Pac-10. Best receiver in conference. Too bad we don't have any other weapons to try to find Brooks out of the end zone or out of the backfield, excuse me. That pass goes right through his hands into the defender's hands. And now going to the end zone, that's going to be caught by the big tight end. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling into the end zone. 27 nothing is the score at halftime. So Arizona State, they kick off the second half with the football. Now, I would like to believe that we are trying on defense, but right right there, that play lets me know that we were not really trying on defense. We were just trying to make Arizona State look good as back-to-back -back plays to Carter result in back-to-back -back touchdown. So here goes Coley. Coley's trying to show who's the real 21 on this field right here. Makes a big-time play, but now it is fourth and forever. Rolling out, taking a shot deep to Coley. Still that dude. Still that dude and Coley in the backfield takes it from the quarterback position all the way to the end zone position. And we finally get on the board, but it's way too little, too late. 41 to 7 is now the score. And look at Stone. He is a cold stone killer. Takes that thing down the sideline. Touchdown, Arizona State. And that's going to wrap it up. 
We got dog 69 to 7 was the final in this one. You're gonna check out the stats. Hope to see you guys next episode with another double header. And then our last game of the season, we'll get back to the live commentary. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Let me know your thoughts on the gameplay down below. I'll see you guys next time. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace. Awesome.